Okay, so Bills at Bears, you know, you said it right here, dual threat QB dream matchup in Chi-Town. Yeah, like this is going to be my kind of football. Like this this last week, the Bears against the Eagles, that was my kind of football. I live for that kind of football. And this week against the Bills is going to be no different. Yeah. The Bills, the Bills intrigue me. I mean, they really, really intrigue me. Kind of like the Bengals. I, they, I don't, I can't really put my finger on it. I mean, they've got everything there, but they make me nervous. You know, I think Josh Allen, the same thing with the, the Bengals and Patriots is the same thing. I think that the, they'll slow the Bears, build, slow the Bills down and maybe even to a point, And then they'll probably just break out and they'll probably bury them and put their, where they belong. So I think the Bills won't have any problems in the end winning this game. I'm, I'm with you. I, I think at the end of the day, the Bills are too good. They're going to win this game. But because of the weakness of the Bills and the strength of the Bears offense, I think the Bears are going to be able to keep up to a degree. You know, that Bears defense isn't anywhere near good enough to stop the Bills offense. So yeah. at the end of the day, yeah, the, the Bills offense is going to be able to put up a lot of points. But the Bills, you know <laughs> – it's like the Chargers, like for for as good as that team is, they just can't stop the run. I don't know why. And and that that's the weakness of that football team and the Bears, especially with Justin Fields. I think he has five straight games, which is an NFL record of 70 plus rush yards. Um, so Justin Fields is basically the offense for them. But, you know, using David Montgomery, David Montgomery this past week had a big game rushing the ball and receiving he had a touchdown both ways so you know they're going to be able to put up a lot of rush yards and I think they'll be able to keep up in a way you know I think at the end of the day it'll be like 33 24 bills um, but ultimately the bills are too good for the bears yeah too good and you know they're going to start fine-tuning bringing everything home to make this playoff run the bears have no business beating the bills if we're if we're being if we're being honest with each other and I would love to know what you think about this game, what you think is going to happen, who you think is going to win. You let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you for the next video.